Hey boys, it's Harm9. Today I'm back in Grand Theft Auto Online with my friends NPC and Twingo for yet another customization battle. In last week's customization battle, we did the Anus Remus, and in today's customization battle, we're going to be doing the Comet Retro Custom. But before we get into that, we have to go over the voting totals from last week to find out who is going to be selling their car. Mr. Twingo. Twingo. All right, are we ready? Yes, reveal it. Reveal. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. We got Twinge in first place with 308. Very nice. Oh my god. And in second place with 290 votes. Wait. Oh. oh. Wait, no, no. I forgot to add it. Hold on. Second place <laughs> definitely goes to Harmon with 254. I forgot to add NPC's votes. Hold on. <laughs> Broke 100. 122. Decent. Tough. That's tough. Yeah. Like, if I took, I don't know, five minutes and came out with this, it's kind of like whatever, but I took so long. I literally customized this car three different times That's a lot. in the span of our customization, yeah. you know? So. Oh, sorry. Yeah. My bad. I should let you do the honors. Yeah. Oops. What's your problem? I'm just so used to it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gonna kill Steeler. I'm going to take it. You can take his money. You can take his money. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to need that to pay off the wanted level. Yeah. Cool cars. Yeah, nice car, man. Nice cars. Wow. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> he said it was one of a kind. Yeah. For Paul. Yeah, no, exactly. What is happening? What Get is happening? There. The door's not opening. I know. Open. The, the, door, the door is okay. a bit silly. Well, good luck, gentlemen. Silly. Oh, my See God, you guys in about two back. hours. All right, boys. Here we are inside of Bendy's. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to the original MotorWorks version. Oh, and it's discounted this week. Uh, fair shot, we are recording this uh, while the update week is still on where the Benny's vehicles are 40% off and where the Comet was available. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. 387 grand, not too bad. Okay, uh, here we are. So hmm, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the armor on this, uh, then the brakes, of course. For the bumpers, we do have uh, front and rear options, as you probably would expect or should expect uh, from a Benny's vehicle. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want to go with on this car. Maybe a Mark II race bumper? Something about that I kind of like, actually. Um, Mark III race bumper is not bad either. I do like the carbon on the bottom, though. I think that's kind of cool. The carbon accents on this are actually really neat. Um, the Mark I is kind of cool, too, though, because it's like accented with the secondary color. Maybe I go. Maybe I go Mark One. Let's go Mark Four. Uh, or, or sorry, Mark One race bumper for the rear. What do I want to do here? A little diffuser, maybe. I, I don't like the big diffuser. If I'm going for one, I'm just going for the little diffuser. Uh, let's go for it. The small diffuser. I think that looks uh, that looks pretty good. Um, it's not carbon either, so that's cool. Uh, for the engine, um, for some. Okay, we got a strut race over the trunk or the frunk actually. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll go with that. I, I don't know. Uh, the medium titanium strut brace. We'll go for that option, I think. Uh, for the engine tunes, let's go all the way up. For the exhaust on this car, um, a lot of the options look terrible. I'm going to go for the big bore exhaust because I think... Oh, well, maybe stock, actually. Low-key stock is actually pretty good looking. I think I'm going to have to go big bore just because I like the diameter of the uh, of the exhaust tips a little better. So we're going to go for that. Uh, for the fenders, we can go for some vented arches. We can go for some secondary vents. Oh, that's kind of a cool option, actually. I like the secondary vents. We got the carbon vents as well. Uh, we have the full carbon arches, carbon and primary vents or carbon and secondary vents as well. Um... I think I want to go for the secondary events. I think that's the option that I'm going to choose. Uh, for the hood, we can go for some hood catches. I actually kind of like it. Um, so I think I am actually going to go for maybe chrome hood catches. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try to remember to come back to that. Uh, for the hood, we have the large grill hood. Uh, now, I'm not going to put a vent on the front of this car because there's no reason because it does not have an engine in the front of it. Um, so, oh, can I not? Wait a minute. Can I not just go for a primary hood, though? <gasps> no. What? So I'm going to have to go for one. Oh, God. That's so stupid. Well, I'm not going to let them roast me for that. Um, I've, got, I've got my explanation. Do I go for the street hood or do I go for the large grill hood? I'm thinking the street hood. I think it looks just a little bit better. So let's go for that. For the interior on this thing, um, 
I actually, oh, primary color sunstrip. Oh, we can go for sunstrip on the interior. Interesting. Um, I don't know that I want to go for the sunstrip just yet. We're going to, we're going to keep it off for right now. Uh, for the interior color, what do I want to go with here? Maybe something, maybe like a, I don't know, actually. I don't know what color I want to go for just yet. I'm going to leave it for right now. We're going to come back to that. Uh, for the dash, we can definitely go for some uh, some different stuff in here. We could go for like a carbon dash. I'm not a big fan of it, though. I think I'm going to keep this thing like relatively stock looking i think i want to go for the semi-stripped interior i think that's the option i'm gonna i'm gonna choose to go with um yeah yeah the semi-stripped let's do that uh we can go for the pod mounted tachometer we can go for the race uh display that's pretty cool i think i think i just want the the tachometer let's go for that option for the doors um i don't want to change anything in here i like the doors how they are for the seats hmm Maybe I'll go for some carbon tuner seats with the red. Um, yeah, just carbon tuner seats. Let's go for that. Steering wheel, I'm going to leave it alone. I like it. Uh, stock, actually. For the dash color, diamond blue today. And for the roll cage, we could do a street half cage. We could go for a full roll. Maybe I'm going to leave it alone, actually, for right now. Uh, for the headlights, I am going to go xenon. Um, for the neon kit, I am actually going to add one onto the car, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for one. Uh, for the livery, we do have quite a few different livery options. So we could obviously go for one of those. Zero gas is really cool looking. I kind of have an idea of what I want to go for. And none of these liveries involve it. Um, for the plate, I think I'm going to go SA exempt. Um, for actually, you know what? No, I think I'm going to go yellow and black. For the respray, I think I'm going to run it back potentially, potentially with a do yellow because I feel like this is such an older sort of Porsche, like RWB color, if that makes sense. I know do yellow is not a super great looking color generally, but I think it's going to work for this build. Uh, for the pearlescent, I'm actually going to go black on that because I don't want any sort of weird like accents. Uh, for the secondary color, I am going to actually keep it black. I might even go matte black. Hmm, I don't know if the matte black really works too well though. It kind of does though at the same time. Okay, I gotta find out if I can change the roof though to the um, primary color. Okay, wait, for the interior, I'm actually gonna go for a do yellow because why not? Oh, maybe not. We might not keep that. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. No, sir. Okay, we're going black. We're going black on that. Uh, for the skirts, oh, we can go for, oh, there's some cool skirt options, actually. The carbon insert skirt. Um, we got the primary with secondary insert. Primary with secondary insert. That looks sick. I like that a lot, actually. Unless I can, no, oh, I can't really do anything with that. Okay. Uh, for the wing, there are quite a few good options. I think the only one that really, like, looks good is like the drift wing though because the rest of them are like way too far back so i gotta go with the drift wing today for the suspension uh, we're gonna go competition for the transmission we're gonna go all the way up for the turbo we're gonna go all the way up for the wheels oh man the throwbacks actually you know what i'm gonna use the throwbacks today I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna go test and see if the uh, if the if the um, the concave mega mesh work, but uh, for right now that'll that'll do it. Uh, for the windows, I'm gonna tint them. I'm gonna go for like a light smoke. I think. Um, I'm really pissed off that I can't do the roof in a different color. That really makes me a little bit angry. Um, hood accessories. Maybe I should go ahead and add the hood pins onto the car. I don't like that they're chrome necessarily, but I don't really know what my other option is. I mean, I guess I could just leave them off maybe. We'll leave them off. Um, let me check the liveries just in case. Globe oil one's kind of cool. I feel like none of these really work with my uh, color choice here. Exorbed actually kind of does, honestly, but I think I'm going to have to just leave it. Um, for the plate, yeah, yellow and black. Oh man, I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe I should maybe I should change up the primary color. Maybe we should go for something else. Maybe do yellow is not a good idea. Ooh, what about? Wait a minute. What about like a galaxy blue with the black secondary? That kind of hits actually. Okay, wait. Let's go galaxy blue. Okay, and then wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pearlescent. Okay, so if I go for something like darker, you can still see the uh, secondary color 
pretty easily. So what if I what if I go for like a C green or something? Actually, didn't Twingo just do that last week? I think he did. What about a gasoline green? No, I don't know. Uh, maybe a different blue, like a different shade of blue. Midnight? Midnight blue looks kind of crazy, actually. I kind of like that. Let's go midnight blue for the pearlescent. Okay, th this is looking a little bit better, I gotta say. I'm actually a lot, a lot happier with this. For those windows, maybe I should actually tint them a little bit more out. And then for the interior color, we could probably go for a blue of sorts now. A darker blue, obviously. Maybe like a harbor blue? Harbor blue is not bad. Saxon blue, dark blue. Dark blue actually looks pretty sick. Let's go for a dark blue interior with the red, red seat belts. That's kind of, kind of a neat look. I'm pretty happy with this build actually. I think this looks really good. Okay, but wait, wait a minute. Those wheels, what if we did them in a black steel instead of the black? Maybe I should go for like a black steel. Let's go for a black steel. Why not? Let's just do it. It's actually kind of disappointing. There's actually not that much that you can do to this car. That really sucks. Um, let's, let's take it outside. I want to see what it looks like in the sunlight. Oh, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad looking. The wheels with the two-tone is kind of strange, I'm not gonna lie. Let's uh, let's go to Los Santos Customs because I wanna see the street category wheels and uh, potentially put some on the car. So I'll see you guys at Customs. All right, we're at Customs. Let's uh, hop in here and see what we can do. I like these wheels. Like I, fi I feel like they fit on the car pretty nicely, but um, at the same time, something in the street category might be kind of nice. Segoy concaves actually kind of look good. I'm not gonna lie. The Endo V4 dished. They're okay. Why are the Hyperfresh like kind of, they kind of work with this, honestly. The Organic Type 2 are also kind of nice. Ooh, the Wild Wagons. I actually like the Wild Wagons because the rivets match up with the um, match up with the fenders pretty well. The Concave Mega Mesh looks shockingly good, actually, I think. The Organic Type 2, I just want to go for something like a little bit different, you know? The Wild Wagons are kind of calling my name. At the same time, I really do like these rims though. The Wild Wagons like hit for some reason. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on the Wild Wagons for a sec and then maybe I just go with the black though. I feel like the black looks crazy. Let's do it, let's do it, why not? We're gonna, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for the wild wagons in black. The rivets match up with the uh, match up with the rivets that are on the, uh, the the fenders. So I feel like this looks really good actually. I'm quite happy with how this has uh, how this has actually turned out. I know they're not a super popular wheel, but I feel like I feel like I've almost seen like an RWB Porsche with uh, with these like you know style of wheels on at the very least. So I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. Uh, let's take it back to Benny's and we'll wait for the other guys to come out, and then uh, of course we'll get into our uh, our little debate and going over our builds and whatnot. And uh, yeah, should be interesting. Sick car. Thank you. I'm quite happy with how I uh, with how I did this one. Pretty clean. I, I like it. I hate that you can't change the roof to be yeah. the primary color. That's really annoying. So yeah, it has to be secondary. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of how they did the secondary for this. No, I, I'm but not either. Black roof is pretty cool. It's it's different. I'm like oh, I'm almost tempted to go in and change it and just go for carbon options instead of the black, but I don't know. Did I guess there's I, not too many. I don't really I, feel like the carbon works on this car though. Not a whole lot. No. I, I agree a bit there. Yeah. I've come out of the garage. You've come. I'm. I've come. He's come. Oh. Oh boy. That looks really cool, NPC. Yes. Thank you. Very How rare. Nice. <laughs> oh my oh, valid brutal just some Line interesting up. colors yeah definitely definitely well cool i guess okay. uh, yeah, it's we observatory time yeah, we know what time it is it's observatory time boys yep nice well um i guess i'll whose car is this i guess i'll talk about my build this is mine uh i All have right. it in a dark blue with a midnight blue pearlescent on it uh the secondary oh. color is black which is unfortunate i wish i could have colored the roof primary uh but i needed the secondary color to uh, do the vents over the wheel covers um and i wanted them to match up with the front bumper the side skirt and uh, and the rear diffuser as well um and the, the top of the spoiler i think is black no it's blue okay never mind or is oh, it? it's black is it black yes oh, i think that's a blue no, I think it, that's is, how the no it, is it is black it is black i'm pretty sure oh no it is primary color it's primary color because npc's is is it why does it look black 
It does look black, doesn't it? It's definitely that's black. That's the secondary oh, the color. color. That's why. Oh, it is the secondary color. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay. Um, I went for these rims. I can't remember the name of them. They're in Wild the street leggings. category. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like them because they match up with the rivets on the uh, on the wheel wells uh, or on, the, do, on the fenders, cool. which I thought was cool. I thought it was a nice touch. Uh, for the interior, I went for a dark blue, I believe, uh, on the seats, and they've obviously got the red. Um, seat belts there or the um well the one part is red and then uh, that matches up with my calipers and i went for this spoiler because i think it's the only good looking spoiler for this car um i went for the big bore exhaust and the uh the small diffuser mm. um, and then i went for the mark one racing bumper i think it is okay yeah and the, and the pod mounted tachometer on the inside nice yeah very nice and then what hood is this again uh that's the twin vented hood i think gotcha. i i, I want to say right now uh i did not want to pick that hood but i had to because if i didn't it was going to be secondary color i know that it's stupid because uh the air intakes do absolutely nothing it's literally just a trunk so yeah. Yeah. Oh, would you mind popping the hood too? Oh yeah. Oh, you want to see? I want to see what's wanna, in this. You want to see my strut race? Yeah, I want to see what you're protecting <laughs> down there. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. what? Oh. Now there's an engine. <laughs> uh, there was no engine. Uh, that's in definitely not an engine, buddy. But yes. What? That's not. Oh, that's nope. not an engine. No, you're so right. There's stuff in there. Oh, there's though. That's definitely okay, stuff we'll in there. there. But yeah. there's. This was not there for me before. No, I added it. It's because I did the uh, the race interior, oh, the stripped interior. Oh, that's what that yeah. does. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. This is kind of a good looking engine. It, for it is start. actually kind of good looking, isn't it? Wow. It looks yeah. like fully 3D. That's wow. That's pretty, yeah, that moving, is pretty that's nice. A, that's concerning. That is super compact. Oops. Uh, Hella nuts bottles. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, Very cool. Uh, that's my build. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right. Nice. Yeah. Um, for my car, I went with the I went with a sienna brown with an orange pearlescent, and it has a very nice. What? Really? That's yeah. a brown. Yeah, this is a sienna brown. It's very orange for just a pearlescent. That right? is crazy. I would have wow. never guessed. I thought this was literally just sunrise orange. Nope. This is this is brown. This is brown. That is and uh, very interesting. It, it's got just a very, it carries itself in a very like impressive way. Cause but yesterday I customized the Tyrus and I threw on a uh, sunset red, the one that kind of looks brownish. Mm -hmm. And and I brought it out in the sunlight and it looked like ketchup. And I was like, I, that's, this shit's so ugly. So uh -huh. um, I decided to, I wanted to go for that because it looks really nice in the shop. And I was like, I don't want to go for that color. So I decided to go for a brown and create a, uh, and pick a nice bright pearlescent. So it has that same like copper-ish effect, which I think looks really cool. I have some carbon solars with sunrise orange uh, as the color. I went for the Mark III racing bumper because um, it has that carbon on the front end, but isn't too heavy. And then also matches up with the wheels and my skirt as well that has minimal carbon. Um, I went with the same spoiler as Harmnun, except it's the primary variant. I went with the big bore exhaust, small diffuser, and then my hood is... I don't remember what, what it's called, but uh, you can see. First the, option. The vented hood, yeah. Yeah, vented hood, whatever. And then uh, for my interior, I wanted to keep it, like, make it not, like, super track heavy, but, like... A car that you could just drive and then take to the track sometimes so i have comfy seats in there um but i have those those red straps and then i've i've modded it a little bit but also tried to keep the uh the interior like not stripped and everything you know right. wanted to wanted it to be cozy and then um lastly i have a yellow underglow a golden sorry a golden shower underglow mm, because i like getting pissed on yeah what yeah. no i mean um because I like how the the red, the orange, and the yellow kind of creates a nice fall vibe. Yeah, that's my build. Nice, epic, awesome. Pop the hood. There oh yeah. Go, break and stuff. Very cool. cool. Carbon cross member thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I keep it consistent. Very epic. carbon. Oh, you painted this area too, or is this just always? That's the color. I have just no the color, clue. I think. Yeah. That's cool. Interesting. Thanks. Nice. Cool. All right, time to talk about my build. 
and it's a can you guess the color can you guess the main color oh my god this has got to be a brown as well it's a brown it's 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 bison brown it's bison brown i love bison brown yeah and we got the salmon pink pearlescent for a bit of rose gold kind of action i think it fits because i think it's a very kind of elegant car and an elegant color rose and rose gold that kind of fits the high tier kind of vibe of this car i believe and we did uh-huh. a, a different spoiler in the back from you guys. I like I like this one a little more. I think it matches uh, the level with the hood a little, a little closer than the other one, which is what I kind of wanted. Kind of more of, more of a sleek thing. Yeah. And speaking of sleekness, we didn't do a side skirt as well because I really actually liked how there was a full body kit on this one. Oh yeah. And I kind of liked the the rivets with the black thing down at the bottom there. That's cool. I, don't, I think <laughs> it's plastic. We did a carbon one up front because it looks much better and it matches with the carbon on the inside of the bumper too which is the mark something i don't remember the number but it's a carbon one yeah we did some sport wheels one of the ones with five in the one of the ones with five in the name i think i don't remember the exact name but pretty sick i think they're pretty close to the original wheels kind of close not really though then full tint uh interior i think might be a step down from npcs let's open up the doors yeah, you have don't less. Have, you have oh, less things have, yeah. in the front. We only got Whoa, yeah, so you did, you the, did the first option. Yeah, so we still got a nice infotainment screen in there, big handbrake, and a bit of NOS action. Mm-hmm. Not too much. Not a track car. Nice, I like and it. And same stuff in the back. Small diffuser again, because that looks the best. Yeah. And same I think ex- that's same pretty much exhaust it. Exhaust pipes is what I went for. Yep, based exhaust pipes. We yeah. did the smooth hood, stock hood. Yeah. Because the secondary and uh, primary are the same here. Mm-hmm. And come on, close it. Just gonna close it up to that <laughs> door all day. Now. There we go. Okay, I got you. Oh. And yeah, the interior is pretty basic. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I like oh, it. Oh, what rims are these? I don't remember. Something with five in the name. I think he said. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's pretty sure. Yeah. Cool. Um, I have to say, I, I, I love and hate your spoiler. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get started right now. I'm just gonna get started. I love and hate it because I like the level of it. It's just too far back. But at the same time, somehow, some way, you've made it work. I I'm, think I'm not I, gonna I even totally roast you for it. Point. Yeah. I I would normally roast you for it. I don't. I think it actually works really well, though. I think it does work well because it also looks cl- uh, better mounted in the back, in my opinion. Yeah. Because yours here, it seems like the back. Yeah. It's not flush and it kind of seems like a poor job, honestly. You know what so, would make it look a, a lot better is. is if the like mounting points went all the way across the trunk. Like, that would like be between, very cool. Between the two of them. That would yeah, be really maybe cool. Maybe adding a little brake light in there too. Yeah, maybe something not like that. 100%. That would be really cool. Yeah, this, this is an, an old easy car fix, though, right? I just can't stand like, it. Did old cars have. Are you saying on the spoiler? No. Yeah, because I believe it's, it'd be an aftermarket thing, so. I yeah, know, I well, this whole this whole car is supposed to be like very aftermarket. Yeah, it's supposed to be an RWB Porsche. Uh-huh. So, so um, yeah, um, I I think the spoiler is cool. I did like the sleekness when you pointed that out. That's yeah. that's something mm-hmm. I saw when I was customizing it too. The only thing is, yeah, it is just pretty far off the back. It like is, the thing with but... our spoilers is that it lines up with that extra lip, mm-hmm. and and that looks nice, but. You know, now like the mounting points. Now that we're like looking at it, it, just, it looks funnier the longer we look at it. Yeah, it definitely does, and it's not it's not quite flush either with that middle body body panel, like the trunk, I guess it is or whatever. Yeah, it's not quite flush with it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Actually, am I going but... crazy or is it like not mounted? If you look at it from this angle, like right where I'm standing, right on the bottom corner, it looks like nothing. Oh my god! There. It does look like there's nothing under it. That's very weird. That's so strange looking, actually. That is really weird. Oh, I hate that now that you pointed that out. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there is actually, no, there's a pass-through underneath it, oddly. There's a weird huh. texture there. That is really strange looking. It, it's a one-way texture. Actually, weird. it looks really normal on my car. It just looks weird on an NPC's car. Because my car's brighter, probably. I think it is. I think it's a pearlescent. But on my car, I, mean, it does, I still it, see it the same it, way. It, it's, it's still like it looks weird, but the texture isn't as like. Oh no, it's still it's still just. Oh bad. no, that there is a pass through. Yeah, underneath. Yeah. 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 Oh okay. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay. That would create interesting lift, design but, choice. Yeah, it's that's cool. Um, weird. Okay, well, I, I have I have a really good roast actually. So uh, NPC. 
um, if you just take a look at, at what's in the center of your car right there, there's a manual shifter, right? What are those on yeah. the back of your uh, steering wheel? Pa <laughs> paddle shift. <laughs> those are paddle shifters, buddy. Oh! Come on, NPC. You know I love paddle shifters, though. NPC loses just because of that one detail. <laughs> of course. Okay, of yes. course. Yeah, disqualified. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I'm losing my mind and if these whoa. are the right wheels, but I'm pretty sure there's a wheel that's very close to the ones that Twingo picked uh, that is not actually attached to the hub. Oh, oh really? I know what you're talking about. It's not these ones. It's not these ones. Yeah. It's not these ones. It's, it's like the, it's the not star attached to the ones. hub. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's, the ones there's that a come few, like the there's a few of something. them in, in the start of the sports category uh, that are not actually attached to the hub. That's very weird. Yeah, like very the strange. rim isn't? Yeah, the rim isn't attached to the yeah. hub on some wheels. I thought your car had it, but it does not, so don't worry. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. Um, Twingo, I really like your color. Thank that you. That is super yeah, cool. I have to it's say, such a cool color. Both of you have very unique colors. I do, li I do like it. I both, I, I like the fact that both of you used brown. I think that's yeah, cool. These are two right. rounds, and they look so different, but so sick. Yeah. I know. I yeah. have been wanting to use bison brown like since I've made my YouTube channel, and I have not found a way to make it work. But this looks. This is super cool. Yeah, that's clean. I like that. I think um, Porsches in brown generally just look very good, and yeah. I think they pull off almost every color really well. Yeah, they, I they, agree. They definitely do. I agree. Um, yeah, it just looks cool. I feel like I almost like I want to say something about the rims matching up with like the elegance that you kind of mentioned. Because I feel like these aren't super elegant rims, but it also fits the style the, of this yeah, car. Yeah, no, they, mm -hmm. it's like a very you know in I mean? industrial style of wheel. And I think that it fits the sort of industrial, like, raw look of the car, like with the rivets and everything mm -hmm. on the body. Yeah. Pit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it works really well. Uh, speaking of rims, NPC, remember what I told you about your Mark Sentinel Classic and your wheels? Uber Mark. He... How they what were too modern. Oh, You've yeah, done it again. Yeah. I see. You've definitely done it again. I hate to say it, because I think I think your color is really interesting, but your wheels are too modern. Um, I can kind of I can kind of see it. I like feel they, like... like they look. Don't get me wrong, they look good, but they're too modern for the car. I don't know if I like the carbon with it too. Yeah, I also don't know about that. I feel like I feel like having little carbon accents on like the bumpers and stuff like that. You like you can get away with on this car, being that it's like a resto mod sort of thing. But I think. The full carbon wheels is kind of a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, but it does match up with the other carbon pieces that it I does. threw on. It does. I just think I just think the combination of the modern the modern looking wheels with the carbon, which is pretty modern, it just kind of is is odd with your car. But I think I, I still think it looks pretty good overall. It does. It, it, does it does look round. I feel like my car looks rounder than your guys's cars just because the wheels are uh, less dished. Yeah. Which it's not to say it's a bad look, it's just an observation. More full. Um, yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you go with the carbon front bumper? We go with the wheels. Like the carbon like bottom part? Yeah, with the lip. I just didn't slower. think it looked as good, I don't know. Fair I thought enough. it could have been nice. I, I just realized now it looks like you got full crop copper exhaust. Oh, sick. that's kind of sick. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Is it this are those the stock exhaust or those are the same ones we picked? I think it's all the same, same one. Yeah. yeah, all big, big boys. Boar gang. Yeah, yep. big boar boys. Nice. Yeah. Mine's kind of copperish too. Yours must be blue. Yeah, nah. a little bit. Probably too. Or I think they're black because of the secondary. Yeah, they probably are. I'm boring. All right. Uh, I got to say, I'm not a fan of the fender vents you got here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I don't. You know, I don't hate them. At the same time, I feel like like I feel like they're made for this car, but at the same time, they don't look anything special to me. I think like, I, uh, I, I, I basically just picked them because I wanted a spot to put the secondary color on the car. So that's kind of why I chose them. I could take them or leave them. I, I'm not that uh, into them, really. I, 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 if they weren't on the car, I wouldn't care. But uh, I think it's just kind of an extra little detail that I that I added that I wanted to add. So that's, okay, yeah. that's why Valid. I picked those. I, I'm not a huge fan of the hood because I think there's too many vertical lines to this uh, body of car on the hood. And I think I like NPC's option with the little horizontal vent up there. Or down there i guess but yeah. yeah that's my thing with this hood yeah okay that's fair enough 
I, uh, it just elongates the hood. Yeah, it definitely makes it look a little longer. Yeah, I, I, I just didn't want to pick NPCs option because I thought that it was like just more vent. So that's why I didn't choose that. Like it's just more vent, like surface area, if that makes sense. And I automatically like didn't want a vent on the front of this car. So I figured this was the best option for me because it didn't have as much as much mm. sort of vent on it, you know. But there's still vents. Uh, yeah, there are definitely still vents, but the alternative was having a black hood, and I thought that would look really stupid, so... Could have gone stock, like Twingo. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, except my secondary color would have made it black, which is what I just said, buddy. Oh, is it secondary by default? It's secondary by default, and you cannot oh, change it. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. I so, see. that's why I did not, uh, that's why I did not go with that, and I, I didn't want to put any carbon on this car which is also why I went with the secondary color as black, because I've got the black front splitter, I've got the black side skirt, and i got the black rear diffuser with no carbon anywhere. Well, except for, except there's the carbon you can't get rid of around the exhaust, which annoyed me, but I just kind of ignored it, because it's hard to see in the, like, to begin with. Like, you really have, to Blends be, in. really have to be looking for it, honestly, so. Valid. Yeah. Um, so that's why I went with I the like, secondary. I actually like the blue tint on the secondary, but then I think the, uh, I, I almost like what you did here with because your pearlescent is so dark that it makes it look like a classic color. Yeah. But I feel like if you just went for a classic color and then did like a darker blue secondary, it would have looked better than having the pearlescent. So the pearlescent just like right between the lights and the bumpers here, it it just looks funny. I can't. I <laughs> I think I'm too colorblind to see what you're talking about, honestly. I don't, Maybe it's very small. I don't really okay. see it. I can the only place that I can actually see my pearlescent is like actually on the fender. That's the only place that I actually like really notice it. I mean, I guess along like some of the side of the body line, but like it's really it's really small. Okay, I notice it like really heavy up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I oh, I can kind of see it at the, at the bottom of the like before the bumper sort of. Just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I can kind of see it there. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit of a highlight. Um, well, just from like up close. Um, and then last thing is like I like the uh, your rims, uh, the bolts. I like that you picked a bolt option to match the the rivets. But I think these rims look, they're they're just too dished. Like they're more dished than Twingos, and it just I feel like it gives the car like that illusion that the the rims are really small even though the uh the wheel kind of it does go up to the line of the fenders mm -hmm. so there's no design flaw it just like gives that illusion because they're so dished i think that it's just kind of an older style which is like what i was going for like i wanted to make it like a i don't know i, I just really wanted to make it look like an rwb porsche so and i feel like they use very dished wheels so that's kind of the style i was going for usually i hate dished and i i mean if I could have had these be right out at the um, at the like edge of the wheel, I, I definitely would have. But then I also couldn't have had the rivets because mm -hmm. there would be no reason for the rivets. The reason the rivets are there is because I think they're a two piece rim or a three piece rim. So uh, that's why the rivets are there in the first place. So, I mean, I I would have gone with these probably rivets or not, but the rivets were just a just a bonus, I guess. Um, I see. Yeah, ideally, if, if I could have had them stick out further, though, I definitely would have. I don't really like dished wheels, so I, I would say yeah, that. Yeah, I know you mentioned that, so yeah. I was like, I got to say something about yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's not something I do very often, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh, one more oh, thing. Why, oh, do you one have, more thing. why do you not have a window tint NPC? Ooh. Oh, Ooh. I must have just forgot about that one. So bright in there. Definitely bright in there. And it gives a lot of room to see your paddle shifters and your manual transmission. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If we're talking about interiors, hang on. Is it Twingos? You said there's no there's no screen. On the in the there's middle. A, there's just there's no screen. What are you talking about? Why it's there, just carbon. Why would there be a screen in such an old car? Well, Twingo said there's you, a screen. Oh, is there not? There's no, no yeah, screen. Yeah, it does remove the screen. That's it's just so carbon. That's weird. What? It's just carbon. <laughs> it yeah, looks like I noticed that. Black when i was in the shop Ooh, that's yeah that's weird that's a okay. huge roast Valid. destroyed Exposed. twingo Exposed. destroyed you should quit you should sell the car now you go yeah. ahead and quit damn maybe it just connects to my uh your, uh your carbon my phone. heads up display that's on the car or something i don't know yeah yeah that is weird i had no idea that is really weird i noticed that when i was looking at the interior and i was like that is yeah. a very strange thing for rockstar to offer as an option yeah Harm none avoided that problem. I did. Completely. I, I chose that option specifically because it did not have any sort of, like, 
<laughs> just no screen left at all. Just yeah. just a big button that says RF. Oh, I did the same yeah. thing because I was like, no way, bro. My yeah. screen, someone robbed my screen. And then you put paddle shifters in anyways. Yeah. That's like, <laughs> it's like having the, uh, you guys know the Teslas? I think they're adding something where you can put iPads on or something as a screen, like just a straight up tablet. I don't know. I don't pay any attention to Tesla. Okay. But... Well, I think, I think that's a thing. Don't like quote me on that. But it's like someone robbed your tablet. So I go. Poor yeah. yeah. Still, it, poor guy. It, okay. it, it looks like it looks like you just took an old car and you started to like update the interior and then you forgot to buy the iPad to put in there behind it. Well, yeah, I ran yeah, out of still money. Waiting for that part. To yeah, come exactly. In, so I just so that's your that's your sure. excuse. Yeah. yeah it's the sure. the stereo still works because all the buttons and knobs are there. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, one more about thing it. about the interior. NPC has two start engine buttons uh -oh. uh i don't i don't know how how you managed to put that up what you plan to do there but oh my god exposed what's the other start engine button on the uh oh i just said thing there sorry. on the I... wheel there yeah one on the wheel and where's the other uh right under the rf button right to the left oh my god oh i Insane. didn't even see that l uh, my car is just turbocharged. I don't know what to tell you. Like it's what? it's got it's got NOS on it. It's um my car's, like double the amount. My car is just um, turbocharged. Bro. My car is just turbocharged, I, so that's why I have two start it's, buttons. It's it's like turbocharged like a, no a creep in sense. Minecraft. I think you just you signed have, up to have, lose. I think you means. just signed up to lose NPC by saying yeah. that. You have a turbocharger. Okay, well everyone so knows I'm not the most well versed in cars, so. Well, you've got a turbocharger though, so don't worry about it. Okay, well, my car looks cool, and that's what matters. Where, can you show me where your turbo is on the uh, No, the it's time to race. It's time oh, to race. okay, I guess Ooh, it, it is time, time to race. race. All, All right. right. Yeah. Okay, fine. All right. All righty, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see if NPC can mess up the start again. I bet he will. Nope. Oh, you got, got it. Got it. He figured it out. He's learned. Figured it out. He's ascended. Oh my god. Ooh, Sorry. This that, guy. that was literally not me. Twingo pushed <laughs> me into you, I swear no, to god. I was breaking. I swear to god he pushed me into you. Bad drivers. It was not my fault, bro. Oh boy. This Things car is twitchy. this car is not very fun to drive, I have to say. It's not. I I that's one of the reasons I sold it initially. Not fun to race. I'm okay with driving it. It's definitely not my favorite car to drive, that's for sure. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh my god! Nice. Crash. Just a couple Crash. of chumps. Yeah. Oh my god. There we go. You're next, harm then. Yeah, alright. You better prepare. You keep telling yourself that, Mr. Three and a half seconds behind me. With catch-up on, by the way. Catch-up can only save you so much, NPC. I got it. I got the rest. Don't worry. Alright. As long as, as long as you're confident in that. Last Less lap. than two seconds, buddy. Yeah, definitely. I've got you right where I want you, NPC. Do you now? Yes. You're gonna slipstream around me, and you're gonna. Okay. Oh! You're just gonna completely take me out instead. Okay. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you oversteered, bro. I did not. Bad, like tone, bro. Yeah, you oh my god, again. Brother, are you kidding me? Oh my god. NPC can't win without cheating, as, I don't know what as to we tell see. You. Yep. I I was just going straight. I I was just going straight. I I was just going straight. Looks like always you turned into me. Us. That's for sure. Have you always, have you uh always rigged against harm none? Of course. Always yep. always rigged against harm none. Yep. God oh, this yeah. car sucks over the turns and the bumps. Oh. Horrendous. Finally, not third place. Yep, cheating. Cheating will do that. Cheating. Why you watch my video? You you missed your turn. You overseared, and I went through you. You you missed your turn. You overseared, and I went through you. You you missed your turn. You overseared, and I went through you. I plowed, arm none. Yeah. So you literally just admitted that you slammed me out of the way to take first, and I still got best lap.
Oh no, I didn't. You did. <laughs> oh. I'm used to seeing myself at and the top. I got best oh laugh. man, that's brutal. We had a few people in the comments telling us uh, that they didn't really like how we were doing the uh, the racing, sort of taking away votes from other people and giving them to yourself. So instead, we're going to pick the votes for the next episode in the previous episode. So right now, NPC is going to choose who he is going to deduct uh, points from and uh, who he's going to give them to. Uh, he also got the best lap there, as you guys saw, so that's an additional 10 votes for himself. Uh, so NPC, who are you going to take the votes away from? I am going to take votes away from Twingo. <gasps> you wouldn't. I would. I would. That rose oh gold is, is threatening to me. It is threatening. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, so... Interesting. Uh, wait, so does that mean I get those votes you, from him yes yeah, so you get 25 votes so there's a difference of 50 or you could okay. give them to harm none or me since you're so mean <laughs> give them back to you give them back yeah yeah no, no he's I, gonna I'll take them for himself myself. yeah he's definitely gonna take them All for right. himself 35 bonus points for there NPC. you go decent perfect awesome cool excited to see how it how uh or what the results are in the next episode rubbing his mm -hmm. hands together uh, well, there you have it, guys. Uh, these are our, uh, our, our customizations of the Fister Comet Retro Custom. This is Twingo's, this is NPC's, not that you could miss it, and this is mine in the front. Uh, make sure you guys vote in the comment down below on the pinned comment. Uh, if it's not there, somebody leave one for me, please. I will pin your comment, um, unless I update it uh, very quickly. Thank you guys oh. so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, if not dislike. Make sure you subscribe to NPC and Twingo as well as myself if you guys are new, and we will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.